Okay, this class is all about taking a template that you've downloaded from somewhere else and then making it your own. So say you've gone to templateroad.com, you've clicked on the link, you've come through and you can see that you've got a template that you want to use. Up the top here you've clicked on duplicate, it's come across, once you've clicked on duplicate, it's come across into your space, so you can see one over here. You can even click on that, drag it up, you might add it into your workspace if you want to share it with someone else. But you've got it to this stage and you're like, okay, what can I do next? So some things you might want to do, you might come up here and you might say, okay, I want to change the cover. And I might say that I want to have, say you're in a particular area and you want to have a lovely shot of the city or you might have a shot of some trees. So you can come into this unsplash area choose an image that you want to have up the top. So you've got that option. You've also got the option you can click in here and you can use an emoji icon. You can upload your own image or you can click on a link if you know the link through to an image um, and that will just um, update the icon. You can also change this name here. So I might say, so I can update that as well. One thing to note about this is that it does change the URL of the particular template that you're using. Next thing that you can do, you can come down to any of these areas. And if I wanted to add another one here, I click into this space and I just click enter. And I can add another one. If I want to take one away, I can just highlight over this, delete, take that out. Otherwise, these little six dots here, I can click on there and then I can click on delete from there. So that's how to delete things and how to add things in. You can also highlight over sections. So if I come down the bottom here, I've got some text that's been added into this template. So I can click down in the white space below, drag it right over the top, then click on delete and they'll delete that whole entire section. So that's how I can delete um, the actual blocks within this particular page. Uh, I can click into here. If I wanted to update this, so this has a video in it, it also has some text. If I wanted to add some more, I can kind of just click here, click at the end of um, this list and then click enter and add a new one, something new. So pretty easy to be able to kind of click and add things and remove things. You can also click on these dots here, drag them to where you want them to go. So you can see I've moved that down below and say I wanted to move this over to the other side. I have to drag it across until there's that little blue line. And I can also click, if I hover in the middle, I can actually see where the border is between these two. So you can see that I can make this shorter or longer. And this is going to look different on mobile, so make sure you check that um, as well. And it's pretty instantaneous, so I can make these updates go onto my mobile and have a look at what all these updates looking like. Um, so that's how I can kind of edit some of the basic um, building blocks within Notion as well. In terms of deleting any content, so we've got some people in here, same thing, click on those uh, six dots there, click on delete and take those out. So you can delete out all the sample ones and then you can just add in your own new one. Someone new. So I've added them in and then I can hover over and click on open, add in the other details. So same as before, click on those dots and I can delete out these properties and then I can add properties as well. So pretty easy to be able to go and delete out that sample data. So I'll show you just quickly here, delete, delete. There you go, I'm ready to go with my own database as well. Um, you can do the same with these databases as well. Just come into any of them, click on them, delete them or add new ones. Um, one other thing you might wanna do is you can add in new views. So I'll add that in now and you can add in the type of view that you would like. So say I wanted a list view, new list view and create and that's going to 
add in that new view as well. So that's how you can update that as well. Um, as well to make it your own, if you click on these three dots here, over in properties, this, this is showing you with these toggle switches which of these particular fields are going to be showing as columns within this database view at the front here. So you might say, okay, I've got all this information, it's kind of hidden behind. If I toggle these off, it's not going to delete the information, but it just means that it's going to clean up that front view when I come in here. So you might say, okay, all I need to know, if I need it, um, just the basic information on a particular person, I just need to know their name, when I last contacted them, what group they're in, maybe their email and their phone. So you just toggle all of those off. All the other information, if I open it up, is still all in here. So all the information is still there. It's just showing me a limited amount of information on the front here. So that's another way that you can customize and edit a template according to your needs. Um, one other thing you can do, click on these three dots here and then come down to filter, add a filter, click on add a filter here. And then I can filter this by say I want to know the ones that 60 days is, uh, and then I could actually put in the emoji. Let me grab this just one second. Filter, 60 days is smiley face emoji. So you can kind of add in your own filter. Uh, and so, so another example over here is, I click on these three dots, click on filter, add a filter. So we've got this as a task list. So thinking to yourself, how am I going to use this task list? It might be, okay, I've got 100 tasks, pretty demotivating. What I want to see is ones with a due date, and we can say it is a custom date, or it is, um, say, one week from now. But what we want to say is, is before, there's a few options here, or is within uh, one month from now. So that's just going to show us the ones for the next month. Uh, let's have a look. One week from now. So probably more likely if you've got a whole lot of tasks and you want to see just the ones for this week, um, you can set up those filters. Now, what people commonly will do is they'll add a view, and that might be, this might be called tasks this week, create, and then they set up that filter, add a filter, due date, And we could have is on or before, one week from now. And now we've got our tasks this week. And then if you wanted to create another view over here, you'd add a view and that would be um, tasks this month. And then what I'd commonly do is come back and when I'm in this view, I can click on these three dots and change this. So I typically have like all tasks showing up the top then we've got a task this week, task this month. So have a think about, um, I guess, that structure of how you want to see this information because Notion's powerful and you can create it and set it up in the way that you want to. But having a look at this, even this one, I might look at it and go, hmm, I don't really need the created date showing there. So I'll click over, click on properties, turn that off. Um, and then I might be like, I actually want to have done showing right over here. So this is where you're looking at all this information and saying, do I really need this information on this, I guess, this particular view that I've got at the front? So in editing things, coming in, um, you can toggle off these sections just to get what you want. You can delete out any of the um, fields that you don't want to use. So say I came into here and you say, actually, I don't want to know task assigned to, it's just me using it. I'll click in here, delete that property. Now that does delete it for all the records within this database, so be a little careful with that. Um, but if it's something you're never going to use, then just take that out. Um, so that gives you, I guess, a little whirlwind tour of how to
grab a template, delete out the sample content, move some things around, um, and then set up the particular views um, according to the way that you're going to be using this particular template.